The latest on Fiona strengthening rapidly now that it is over warm water. Very kind of lack of wind shear. There has been a bit of wind shear on the western side, but that has not really stopped this storm from getting better developed now that it is away from land and will continue to do so in its near and long term forecast. As it approaches Bermuda, unfortunately, this looks like it could be a major category four hurricane. Likely will become a major hurricane tomorrow, the first one of this season. So passing over Bermuda as a cat four and then quickly moving up toward the Canadian Maritime. So Fiona, not an issue and still not an issue is this wave that we are watching. Keep in mind before you start looking at long range computer models. First, long range computer computer models are very inaccurate and that is if you had an organized system. This is still not an organized system. The computer models, the GFS and the Euro in terms of trying to find a little center of circulation or a low pressure center. Both are certainly indicating that as a possibility with the wind starting to pick up associated with the GFS model, not as much the Euro. So the models, yes, are agreeing in something trying to form. Where it is, though, is still an area that's kind of on the borderline worth a mention, keeping a close watch as it would be 10 plus days away if it was coming straight at us. And as of right now, it is not as we've been showing you kind of all this season. One week forecast, especially in the tropics, especially for something that isn't there yet, you could call it a reasonable forecast. So reasonable to say we will see an organizing system in the Caribbean. Two weeks out is a poor or are you joking me kind of a forecast that is just too far out to start showing any kind of model output way too soon to know what's